Hey guys, Mark here. I hope that you're well. In today's video, I wanted to show you an important supply that most sailors in the age of sail had in their bags. So this is Morline. This is a specific type of a line or cordage that was used to work with rope when ships still ran on wind. Nowadays, Morline is a rare sight, but it is still important to know what it is and, if need be, how to use it. So here I have some marline. This tool was so important in the arsenal of a sailor that people or sailors who knew how to use it well were referred to as marlin spike sailors. So marline, as well as the marlin spike, were the tools that defined a good sailor. Being able to whip, do seizings, lashings and things like that was a sign of a superb sailor. If we take a look at the Morlin Spike, this tool is nowadays used in decorative knot work in order to tighten up various knots, untighten knots, do small splicings, or even to just help you spread apart strands while you're tying your knots. But traditionally, the Morlin spike was used in order to tighten up Morline, hence its name. It is not named after the fish, the Morlin, but after the line that was used with it. The Morlin spike hitch is also connected to both Morline as well as the Morlin Spike. It is a way of connecting your Morlin onto your spike so that you are able to get some leverage and are able to pull on the Morlin to tighten it up. This is the primary role of the Morlin Spike Hitch and it is why it is named such. Now as you may notice here, this Morlin is black. This is because it was dipped in tar which protects it from the weather as well as giving it a bit more friction or bite. So by dipping it in tar you protect it as well as make it more functional. This is about the same principle that is also used in waxing cotton threads or using shellac. So protecting your Morline in order to prolong its lifespan. Now before we actually take a look at an example of using Morline, let's repeat how to use the Morlin spike hitch. It is essential in tightening Morline. So we take our spike, we place it over our line, we hook it at the bottom, we hook it at the top, like this creating a loop. Then we pull the top part through the loop and this creates our hitch. Now we can use our hitch in order to pull on the mod line and tighten it up. As an example of using Morline, let's take a piece of rope, use it to form an eye, and then we're going to secure the eye using a decorative hitching. I'm going to grab a piece of Morline, place it over the rope, towards the bite, wrap around to create a loop, and go into the loop. Like this. Now to tighten up this first hitch, I'm going to take my spike and I'm going to tie a Morlin spike hitch. Like this. Then I use the hitch in order to be able to pull using my spike onto the hitch to tighten it up. Then 
Then I make a second hatch. Like this. And again I tighten it up. By taking a spike. Making a Morlin spike hatch. Then pulling on the hatch here to tighten it up. And this is a use for the more line. And this way you can make an eye using a decorative hatching. Now sailors here would probably use a seizing. This is just an example where I can use a lot of hatches. So after doing a little bit of hatching and tightening each hatch using a marlin spike hatch, we get a French hatching. This secures this top loop a bit in a decorative way. You can probably notice my fingers are also quite tarred from the tar rubbing onto my hands. So guys, with the demonstration done, we have come to the end of this short video. The point was to show you where the names for the Morlin Spike as well as the Morlin Spike Hedge come from. I also wanted to show you a practical example of using Morline. So with this done, I would like to thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.